Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Friday morning video that will lead us towards the big game of tomorrow, we are speaking about Milan versus Juve in San Siro, in a stadium that already gave us so many joys, so many happiness, but also sometimes some sadness. Tomorrow will be a real test, we will understand if Bologna and Maccabi Haifa were casualties, that we scored two times three goals, that we had two victories in a row or really if Juventus is starting to work on the path to come back. Attenzione, I am not saying that Juventus is already back because we are far from being back. But the start walking on the path towards the comeback of Juventus where we belong. It means at the top of Serie A. It means competing to try to win that Champions League a long way. That today Andrea Agnelli is reporting in a letter towards the shareholders, the meeting of the 28th of October. We will not go in all of them today in the details. We'll try to make a separate video for people that are really interesting to understand it. But we will highlight the big words in today's video. We'll also speak about Di Maria, Rabiot, Miretti's words. We speak about the big game of tomorrow, but we'll also go through some European stats and facts. Attenzione, after you putting a maximum of like, if you want to, of course, if you also trust me, if you trust the channel for his Juventinita, for the work that we are doing, I'm kindly ask you to continue to subscribe to the channel. Nearly 21,000 Juventini on the channel. We can do it, guys, we can do it. On TikTok, I posted a 10 second video. I had 1.1 million views, so that means that we have a lot of Juventini. We have to find them and it's only thanks to you that we can do it. We open now Corriere dello Sport, the first Italian paper to understand what they are saying about our beloved Juventus. Corriere dello Sport is not speaking about Juve, they are speaking about Mourinho. Mourinho has been fooled. Why does he have been fooled? Because yesterday he was winning 1-0 in Europe, they lost 2-1. They lost 2-1 in Europe, but then Lazio not able to win in Austria. They did 0-0 after a goal cancelled on Immobile. Fiorentina was the only Italian team yesterday in Europe to win. 3-0 with Jovic coming back to goal. I want to take a moment to say thank you to Paolo Dybala that yesterday spoke about Juventus. Yesterday spoke about Massimiliano Allegri, underlining the similarities between Allegri and Mourinho, two coaches that are working a lot on the defensive phase, on how to manage a game, understanding how the game is playing and what the players has to do. But of course, there are other topics where the two coaches are different. He's also saying that he had some problems, of course, with Allegri. It doesn't mean that you have to have an ideal relationship to work well together. They worked and they tried to work together. He said and he repeated, I don't want to create any controversy because I know how it is. Then they change with big statements, with big clickbait titles, this is not what I want to do. The more important thing is that myself and also Massimiliano Allegri, we did everything we could every single time for the best of Juventus, which was the most important thing, the only thing that mattered. I really wanted to thank Dybala for the maturity and the choice of his words because that was really great. I appreciated that. We continue with another news about Europe, about the team of the week in Champions League. Not only one, but two Bianconeri are in that start 11 with Di Maria that we were expecting to be one day in that team of the week. This is why we signed him. Next to him we have Adrien Rabiot. The surprise. The one that is surprising the most in that season 22-23 after his brace. Super happy to have them on. Also two players of Napoli. Also that makes totally sense after their win. 6-1 versus Ajax. A news for the people that are loving FIFA 23 like I'm starting to really love it. Bremer is already a really strong player. It's a joy to play with uh, Glaze on Bremer in FIFA 23 but he will have a special card for him with a beautiful rating 86 and incredible stats so pay attention mind and watch out for the people that are loving to play with FIFA we go inside the double page of Tutto Sport with Angel Di Maria of records what are you speaking about about the true passes about that penetration passes about these passes that he's taking and he's going in, in the in, oh, beautiful well, record. Eight times he did it in that game. The one that had the record before him was Messi. Six times also versus Maccabi Haifa. We are speaking about eight passes that he was able to be the first or at least the first defensive line. Like the goal of a 
uh, Adrian Rabiot. The first one, that pass was incredible. But also him giving that ball to Dusan Vlaovic, incredible. He was top three times with an assist. He's incredible. We were super happy. We will miss him versus Milan. But what he's doing in Europe, what he did versus Maccabi Haifa, we are expecting that he's continuing to give it to us. To us, Juventini. Then they are also speaking about Adrian Rabiot. Now Juventus is thinking to try to renew Adrian Rabiot. Big, big, big discussion point of course because we can objectively say you like him or you don't like him that he's doing a really beautiful season he's probably at the moment the best midfielder we have at Juventus well Juventus will try to contact to speak with Mama Ad Veronique with the mother and agent of Adrien Rabiot but of course he's expecting at least 7 million euro net and this is too much this is a lot for Juventus we always said the first two seasons were really average from Rabiot. Last season, he started to grow and started to convince some no-sayers. This season, he's starting to convince the mass. But we always said one of his biggest problems is that his salary is not matching the continuity of performance. He's not matching the quality that he's showing on the field. Well, 7 million, according to me, is still too much. If we can negotiate lower, it can be something that we can find to continue together. But I don't believe that he will accept lower salary. I don't believe that Juventus will go and reach that high salary that has always caused a lot of pressure on Adrien Rabiot. We continue. I want to know, of course, your opinion on that matter. Write it down in the comment. Renew, yes or no. Renew with an asterisk. Maybe at that condition, I want, I'm curious to read them. The words of Andrea Agnelli, 28th of October, will be the shareholder meetings. We know it. It will be an important one. He will speak about the next three-year plan of Juventus, 22 until 25. He already wrote that letter why because he's re re sending it to the people people have the chance to read it and already start writing and uh, their question so that at that meeting they can ask them i know that a lot of people will tell pepe too long too many text too many words too many letters too many text i have no time to read it it's not interesting it's only blah blah but if you don't read them, guys, you will not understand the future of events where in these letters, the words has been chosen to give you explanations about the moment of Juventus, but also the future. I will not go in all details now. I will try to make a video uh, apart from it for the people that really want and are curious to know. But the thing that you have to understand is Juventus started a new project 22-25 uh, with three big words. The first one chosen is football. Football is at the center. The second one is innovation. The third one is responsibility towards the new needs of society demands. What is he saying with that? The football is changing. The viewers, the ones that are consuming football, are changing. There are new words, new demands, and we have to adapt to that. Three words. How? With five big topics to fulfill the three big words. The first one is financially. We had some problems uh, in the past. We still have some problems. We have to find a balance. Really quickly, guys. Huh? Second one is the management that has to work to aspiring to become an attractive team and club and brand for the younger generation. Then you will tell me, yeah, Beppe, but Allegri. Guys, we start a project in 2022 until 2025. We will see what will happen. But the plan is today to become even more attractive as a club of the field, but also of the field. And then also aiming to become a truly global brand. We already see these TikToks uh, with international influencers. We see Twitch in both languages. The only club that is doing it in Italy in both languages, Italian and English. We see some channels of YouTube that are starting to grow. After myself, we have other channels because Juventus is not only loved in Italy but also around the world and you know it and that's why I have chosen for Juventini of the world this is also the aim of Juventus sport listen well sport and football is still the core business and it will always be super important means that competing at high level for a victory every day and in every competition starting to win also from ongoing season with women but also with men football attention is super important listen again this one i want to repeat means competing at high level for victory 
every day in every competition. Then uh, the fourth topic is sustainability, a big project you went to start 10 years ago. And then the political important thing is continuing in that battle for the for the for the future of football. Speaking about Super League in a way, not using the word Super League, but speaking about it, saying that today there are a lot of structural problems in today's football that goes to the end of the most beautiful sport that is football today. Speaking about uh, not being able today to compete with the English Super League, that they are unapproachable. If you don't qualify for Champions League, you have big, big, huge problem if you are not part of the English Premier League. A lot of problems there. But then also, and I put it in another color, in green, increase the economic and, and sporting risk. So what is he explaining? That today, in today football, if you are not taking risks, you die. And this is probably what we did a few years ago, signing Cristiano Ronaldo. It was a big risk economically, but also sporting wise. We tried due to an unexpected pandemic and due to other bad choices we failed. And this is why we are in the situation today. That's what he said. And then also explaining and at the last part before continuing the video, he said criticism and disappointment, which have become a routine matter in today's football, they are useful for the growth and should not be overlooked and will not be overlooked. So Agnelli is saying, guys, we heard about the criticism. We know a lot of things are correct. We listen, we understand it, we note it, we will try to work on it. The path to credibility, which I have just outlined to you, will be challenging. So he says that the three years plan will be challenged. We will really try to do everything we can with the same ownership because we intend to write new winning chapter of the history of Juventus and Ranielli. Guys, this was it. I will try to come back if I have more questions of you. If you want to, let me know if I have to do a separate video on that. We continue with Juve Milan or Milan Juve of tomorrow because Tutto Sport is saying Vlaovic sei nel posto giusto. Vlaovic, you are in the right spot. Word by Zambrotta Gianluca that played in both teams. Zambrotta that was one of my favorite th players before he left. When we started with Canciopoli, so I'm still here. I'm still sad about that, but he's saying that uh, today he can't still choose between Milan and Juve. He loves both teams equally. Then he's speaking about Teo Hernandez that can be decisive. He's back. Teo Hernandez is back and he will play versus Juve. But also saying that Vlaovic, it was good for him to score versus uh, uh, Bologna and Maccabi Haifa. He needs to continue like that. And he will be held by Quadrado and Kostic, by their crosses, by Di Maria that already showed how great he was with the assist. Also speaking about Allegri that deserved the trust. At least until he has Kies and Pogba to show what he can do. But at the moment, he deserves the trust. Let's see. I, You know what I always said. Huh? I want to continue until the end of the season with any coach. Because I believe you start a project, you end a project. At the end of the year, you evaluate. Is it makes it sense, yes or no, to continue. We continue with the trio that can play probably tomorrow versus Milan. In the front, we are speaking about Dusan Vlaovic, about Kostic and about Milik. Milik in doubt still, but hopefully we can have him at disposal. The players that are growing, all of them. We are happy that uh, Vlaovic also jumped on that train of beautiful performances with some goals and with some assists of the players. Let's see if tomorrow we can have them at disposal he can be really decisive the one that will not be there is the Chilio injury injury muscular injury it is what it is he will not be there for one month maybe 22 is already over for him tomorrow we can go with a fake kind of 4-2-3-1 that can become a 4-4-2 without Quadrado but Bonucci back on the field with a McKennie that will play that double role offensively and then coming back in that 4-4-2 with Kostic wide on the left. But it's only if we are able to have a uh, Milik behind Vlaovic. Only that. Rabiot, he starts, no doubt about it, next to Paredes. Let's see if tomorrow we have that formation or another one. Gazzetta dello Sport is speaking about Milan, the mystery, the question mark about the Charles de Ketelaar. And then speaking about the... A fear of Juve, the fear especially of Di Maria, because yesterday they tried to rob his house. Yesterday he was with uh, Vlahovic because they are living really near to each other in the same neighborhood. They were together. Some people, three people, they tried to rob his house. They had also some guns. Luckily, one of them has been caught by the police. Luckily, more scare and more fear than other things. Luckily, it should never happen, these kind of things. It is what it is, guys. And then the words of Miretti that yesterday spoke in an interview in the zone really funny interview saying that he was a Juventino 
from top to bottom. He is a Juventino. Yes, I am. He said it. A bit uh, shy, of course, but uh, with a lot of proud. I am a Juventino. Beautiful words. He said how beautiful it was to grow into the all uh, his entire career from the young people, from the youth of uh, since he's as eight years old until the first team entering the locker room and saying, yes, I am here. I deserve it. It's beautiful and I will continue to do it. He never believed that he could do it because he knew how difficult it is and then realizing a dream is perfect he's also saying that he, he hates uh, washing his clothes because uh, it's something that he was doing, not doing in the past he has to do it he totally hates it but it is what it is part of the project of growing like part of the project is dribbling is opponents on the field grande miretti with beautiful words he said that one day he went to Stamford bridge when he was a kid and he was faking an interview where the sister biggest sister was asking the question in english and he was waiting to translate them faking that he was translating and then answering in italian it was a joke of a kid today he's obliged to speak in english also with his teammates so is he also growing with his english language hopefully one day in the future we can have miretti on the channel to answer some english question who knows you never know Guys, he had a dream, he realized it. I have other dreams. Hopefully, I can also realize them one day. Thank you for following the channel. I'm waiting for you. If you are interested in that long video of Agnelli, yes or no, thank you. Grazie, forza. Juve.